I am Magneto, Master of Magnet. <laughs> if you like my videos and want to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Thank you. In the 1980s, Konami was one of the top arcade game manufacturers in the world. The company had their first mega hit with 1981's Frogger. They released a multitude of hits over the years, including Track and Field. Gradius. Time Pilot. Russian Attack. And Contra. Just to name a few. In the late 80s, thanks to the explosion of Double Dragon, the beat em up genre was in like Flynn, so Konami decided to follow suit with its simultaneous four player masterpiece Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The game was massively successful, so they followed this up with The Simpsons. and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. So where do you go after you've had three successful arcade games which allowed for four player simultaneous action? That's right, you go for the six player simultaneous action which is exactly what the company did with the 1992 dual screen extravaganza X-Men. Well, what cartoon is this game based on? What changes were made when the game was re-released on Xbox Live? So pop those claws and get ready to slice and dice because this is the history of Konami's X-Men. The year is 1991 and Konami is still on a roll producing high quality arcade games. The bosses were very happy with the returns on their four player games such as Turtles and The Simpsons but they wanted to go even bigger. They had actually attempted a five player game but since they had to create an all new cabinet anyway they decided to test the six player option which worked out rather well. They didn't want to resort to any more sequels, so the Turtles and the Simpsons were both out. A new IP is just what the doctor ordered, but what could it be? One of the bosses at Konami had seen a new cartoon called X-Men, Pride of the X-Men, and absolutely loved it. He thought Professor X's team would be the perfect fit for their six-player brawler. With a cabinet that required six joysticks, they decided to add an extra 25 inch monitor as well. Side by side, you're looking at 50 inches of mutant beat em up glory. Konami was <clears throat> inspired by the 1986 arcade game Darius. The game used three screens side by side to create a massive play field. Your team of the X Men consists of Cyclops. Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Dazzler, and Wolverine. Let me just stop for a second and point out one thing. Take a look at Wolverine's mask. Did he get it from the same place Galactus got his mask from? I even went back and checked the original cartoon this was based on and Wolverine's mask didn't look anywhere near as ridiculous. The X-Men was released in 1992 by Konami. It's a scrolling beat-em-up that sees you take on the role of various X-Men as you try to take down Magneto and his brotherhood of mutants. You get one button for attacking, one for jumping, and a stronger attack by hitting both buttons at once. What's new is, you can attack prone enemies, which makes it very similar to the arcade game Vendetta, by hitting the attack button near them while they're lying down. Every character also has a unique mutant power, which is generally a powerful attack that hits a lot of enemies at once. Using these will drain your health, so use them wisely. 
There are power-ups that you can pick up at various points throughout the game. There are a total of 8 levels in the game. These range from the city. A jungle. And Magneto's base, among others. You'll fight a virtual who's who of mutants, including the Blob, Pyro, the White Queen, Juggernaut, and finally, Magneto. If you've played previous Konami beat-em-ups, the gameplay will be very familiar. The baddies are never-ending, so you have to be on your toes throughout or it's lights out. The graphics and animation are top-notch, exactly what you would expect from a Konami game. The sound effects and music are great. It even features some hilariously unintentionally funny lines by certain characters in the game. Just take a listen. Go and save the city. Pyro will turn you to toast. Nothing moves the blob. <laughs> The White Queen welcomes you to die. <laughs> X-Men, welcome to die. X-Men, X-Men. Magneto is planning to attack Earth from his asteroid base. You must foil his plan before it's too late. Go after the giant sentinel. X-Men, nice job. Magneto is over there. Follow me. <laughs> Aha, you fell into our trap. I am Magneto. You are nothing. Alas, that was Mystique, not Magneto. Magneto is in another place. Go, X-Men! I am Magneto, Master of Magnet! <laughs> dead! Oh, X-Chicken, you are dead! <laughs> ha! Kill you. Die. You are dead. <laughs> now let's take a look at those conversions. Unfortunately, there aren't any. LJN held the home council rights to the X-Men along with pretty much every other Marvel property. So a home conversion of this game just wasn't possible. Since this game came out in 1992, it would have been perfect for the Super Nintendo, but it just wasn't meant to be. Fast forward 18 years later and the game was released for the PlayStation Network and also Xbox Live. This wasn't just a straight up emulated version of the arcade game, this offered online multiplayer. The Xbox Live version offered up to 4 players simultaneously but the PlayStation Network version offered six simultaneous players just like the arcade game. You also had the option of playing either the US or the Japanese version, with the Japanese version being quite a bit easier. Now due to licensing reasons, all of the voice samples had to be re-recorded with different actors. The same corny cheesy lines are still there just coming out of somebody else's mouth. In 2013, the license ran out, so both versions were pulled from their respective stores. It was released briefly for the iOS and Android devices, but a year later, this too was delisted. And that takes care of the history of Konami's X-Men. If you happen to be in an arcade back in 1992 and this game was in it, 
there's no way you could miss it because this cabinet was massive. It's still a fun game to play, especially with five other people. There is no way the Master of Magnet could stand a chance against the powerful forces of the X-Men. If you ever get a chance to play this game, give it a shot. You'll be glad you did. If you like my videos and want to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my content. It's the only way my little channel can grow. Thank you for watching.